Hello, hello, it's Amy from Amy Parker Art and founder of Creative Warriors. So I figured I would pop on because I have some paintings that I have to varnish and wire back. So I wanted to show you how to do this if you are wondering how I varnish and wire back my paintings so that you can do the same. If you already do varnish and wire back, let me know what you like to use and how you do yours so that uh, we can see if we're on the same wavelength here. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. It's been a long day and I need to clean up the studio and work on some varnish and wire back. So when you pop on, say hello. Let me know if you are just seeing me for the first time or if you've been here before. You guys, I didn't send text out okay because I'm not gonna text you this late at night I don't know who's sleeping and who's not so don't uh, beat me up for that okay if I I only have a few slots left for texting by the way so for right now anyway so if you want me to text you when I'm live you just let me know and I will do that for you you can message me right here on the video I put that option on here so that's fine you can message me hello Lisa Marie so I'm just hanging out, cleaning up a little space over here so that I can um, work on a few paintings, varnish and wire back some paintings. So I know it might look like I'm missing for a moment. Hopefully I don't make you too dizzy. Try not to make you too dizzy, but I'll lock this door so no one walks in there. Okay. Um, I'm just, hmm. Just gonna clean a space here. Actually, this. All right, doing a live one-on-one. -on -one. Make sure that your light is behind your camera. Okay, I need to uh, follow my own rules here, so that we, you can, you can see what's see what's happening. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Why does it still look so dark in here? Don't know. Sorry about that. I'm not a videographer, you guys. I'm an artist and an art coach, business coach. So that's what I do. So forgive me. I'm just, hey, I am who I am. And it is what it is here. I know people always say that. What the heck does that mean, right? Anyway. All right, I'm putting away a bunch of my brushes. Got to clean up this table so that I can do my wire backing and my varnishing for my collectors. I have, well, first of all, I have a paintbrush problem. I have so many paint paintbrushes everywhere. And I had these all organized at one time. We'll have to do a video just on that because that'll probably take all day. I don't know if you can see on my windowsill back here, but I have a whole slew of brushes on here. And I'm just trying to figure out where the heck this stuff went so I can fit it somewhere. I don't know. That's what I do. I just empty one that doesn't really have a lot of brushes in it and then just fill it up with that. But this one's one of my favorite ones. So what is this? Master's Master's Touch. I really like this angled brush. You guys know I'm crazy about angled brushes. Okay, so I'll keep that over there in my good brush pile. And not that I really have a bad brush pile, but uh, I don't know. Are you guys like that? Do you have like so many brushes? It's just, you know, overload. All right, I was painting today and I was finishing up. I got to go dump this disgusting water because if I don't, my cat, you guys know Kirby, he always likes to jump up here on the window windowsill and drink my paint water, even though I have his a water bowl right there. But he doesn't know the difference, so I don't want my cat to get sick. Gotta go dump this out. What have you guys been doing today? How has your day been going? I promise we're gonna get to varnishing and wire backing in a second. I just have to pick up. I have to make some room here so that I can uh, work on that. Let me know how your day was. Let me know what you guys did and what fun things happened today. 
Um, if you're watching this on the replay, that's fine. You can still ask me anything you watch, say hello, uh, message me, touch the bell, click my face, touch the bell, things like that. This is for all of my happy mail that I send out. And um, yeah, love to do that. Love to make people happy. I do, I do. Well, I mean, why would I want to make people mad, right? I mean, don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, I got a lot of stuff going on, but we're going to just try and make some temporary space since I've been in, like, working mode and have a ton of orders that were backed up a little bit because I've been working on Creative Warriors because I don't know <clears throat> if you heard, but I'm going to be opening Creative Warriors to the public for only five days and that will be happening Mother's Day so if you didn't see my live this morning when we did a little art walk talk you guys know I hold my selfie stick and I walk around my neighborhood and I look really silly but uh, yeah I, whatever I do it for you so but yeah I've been doing a lot of paintings like this I just did these little um, hydrangeas on my uh, multimedia paper because I send out little fun Happy Meal, like I said. So that's what these are for. These, I cut those pieces up and they go with my, um, all of my little mailings. But you know, I can't keep doing that forever and ever because, you know, once I, once I get a lot of people on my list, I mean, I can only paint so much in a day, right? Seriously, you can only paint so much in a day. But yeah, I just worked on those last night when I was sitting down watching Survivor, because you guys know I'm a Survivor freak. Oh, pretty, Lisa, Lisa Marie says, thank you, Lisa Marie. Appreciate that. You want to come on live with me? That's my friend. That's my buddy. That's my BFF business lady, who's also an art lady. You guys would, will love Lisa Marie. If I love her, you'll love her. If you want to come on, let me know, Lisa Marie. Since, um, you know, I'm just hanging out in the studio cleaning and then I'm going to wire back. If you want to talk and chat or hang out, I would love it. And I'm sure everyone else would love it. Also, if you don't want to, that's okay. I know I'm like pressuring you right now, right? <laughs> okay, just walking around some jars. This is what you got to do first. Before you wire back a painting, you have to clean a spot. And this painting here, I just noticed, this is hanging sideways, right? It's supposed to go the other way. Just That's an abstract. You can hang it any way you want. But I love it, and it actually goes this way. Let me show you. Let me show you this one. It's super cool. Very, very pretty. It's varnished already, so it has a little sheen to it. Um, but it's, it's gorgeous. I call it deep ocean. I don't know why it just reminds me of that, but there's blues, purples, deep purples, really neat, but I had to hang it sideways right there because it wouldn't fit. I'm doing some art right now. I can jump in. Yay. Okay. Jump in. That would be awesome. While I'm cleaning, they can see what you're doing for art. All right. Let me see how to invite you. Let me see if I do this. You might have to ask to guest request, allow viewers to send your, okay, yeah, that's already on. Um, it's telling me I have no viewers to invite Lisa Marie, but obviously I know I do. So I don't know. You guys know how there's been glitches with this platform today. Um, so tell me if you can find it. Maybe you sent me one. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Friends won't be able to watch this video unless they're in your selector. Okay, okay, add. Um, all right, I just added you, Lisa Marie, so we'll see if you pop on. And I'm holding my, um, I just added you, so go look. If you didn't get it, then request again, and then I'll, because it won't let me request. Um, I'm holding the phone, uh, obviously, you can see, like, uh, vertically. So just hold your phone vertically so we won't be cut off. So we got to go one way or the other. So before when I started doing, bringing my friends on, uh, a special guest star on, um, let me see if I can touch your, 
Oops, hello, Dorothy. How are you doing? No, I don't want to block Lisa Marie. She's one of my BFFs. Are you serious? <laughs> you guys, Dorothy, I'm just like doing a couple techie things right here. I'm trying to get my artistic friend, Lisa Marie, on live here with me. Try and send me another request, Lisa Marie, because we'd love to see what you are uh, working on. Bring someone on camera. Yes, I already asked. Okay, Lisa. Now it's got a darn... It's got a darn glitch. Unless I have to spell your whole name out, which I shouldn't. No, it's just wanting me to add Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Lisa Marie, go out. Go out of my video. Then come back in. And it will probably show. I did and no longer have a request there now. Yeah, so go out and then come back in. <laughs> no, I'm not stressing. Do I look like I'm stressing? I'm just like, whatever. Don't worry, we're going to get to varnishing and wire backing right now. We're just talking to my friend Lisa Marie because she's a, she's an artist as well. And um, she's got some great things going on. And I figured since she is creating, I would have her pop on with me if we can make it happen. This is another thing with business, you guys. So when you are online doing your paintings and you are, you know, talking to your collectors or whatever... I know a lot of you stress out about tech, and sometimes I still do as well. Um, <laughs> Dorothy, I feel like I'm missing something here. Well, basically what's happening is I'm trying to get Lisa Marie to come on as a special guest because she popped on and she's creating, and uh, we are business buddies, and uh, you guys would love Lisa Marie. So, but this platform that you're watching me on right now <clears throat> had some major glitch things going on today um in my world anyway i don't know about yours so that's why you feel like you're missing something because lisa marie and i were just trying to figure out some techie things and there was like some little glitches so i don't know if i'll be able to bring her on or not but lisa marie no i'm not stressing about the tech stuff and but i just want to let you guys know sometimes in business when we're working online that stuff ha that stuff happens and, uh, hey, I'm not perfect. Sometimes it does really irk me. I mean, uh, just like not even a month ago, I, w I accidentally, well, I mean, I didn't accidentally swear. I was literally swearing because I was so mad <laughs> that there was a glitch problem. And I thought my camera was off because it said, this video is ended. I'm like, well, I didn't end it. And then I said some swear words, and then my husband came in. I'm like, Tim, help me. What is wrong with the internet? And um, then Lisa Marie, one of my BFFs here, um, she calls me. and She's like, do you know that you're still streaming? I'm like, no, I didn't know that. I'm just human. Hello, Marcy. So, you know, you're not missing anything too important. That's what was happening. Uh, I'm just talking about tech glitches. I'm cleaning up the studio. This was our painting from Tuesday night. And um, what's coming up this week, you guys? What's coming up this Tuesday? Lake Reflections, I think that's the one. I think that's the one. This is just a board with some tape on it. Pretty interesting, huh? Um, this is what I do when I cut my multimedia paper and I stick it on here to uh, do some little mini paintings. So that's all that is. Let me move that out of the way. And yeah, I'm kind of bummed because I would love Lisa Marie to come on right now, but I don't know if it's going to happen. If it's not, then hey, you guys can still roll with me. Marcy said, I think you're right. Yeah, about the glitches, right? Is that what you're talking about? About the this, what we're on right now? Happens. Happens. Um, look what I just, what I got in the mail. Do you guys get these? It's backwards, but you can read that, right? Country door. 
It's um, it's I love looking at these. So inspiring. I put it in my studio bathroom so I could see it every day. <laughs> When I disappear, I'm just putting stuff away. I just don't want you to um, think I'm leaving you. I'm just trying to clean up the studio. Oh, that's where my other jar went for my brushes. Okay. Move this here. It's been a long painting day. Um... Tuesday. Oh, yes, yes, Tuesday. So you think I'm right about the Tuesday. I think so, too. I think it's Lake Reflections. And so, you guys, if you want to see what's coming up for paint nights, because I do a free paint night here on my page, Amy Parker Art, um, every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. EST. I'm here in New Hampshire. Um, what was I going to say? I get brain cramps a lot. But we... If you want to see what's coming up, all you have to do is go to the events because I put the events right here on the page of what is coming up for the next uh, paint night. So we were just talking about that, Lake Reflections. And I am going to actually try something different with the events. So I'm probably going to let the ones that are on there just kind of roll for a little while. And then don't freak out. We're still going to do the paint nights every Tuesday. But... When it gets closer, because I usually like to plan ahead a couple of months, but when it gets close to the end, don't think that there's not any new painting designs coming, because there are. But um, I'm going to try something different with how I put it onto the event, but I can't go back and fix it now that the event's already on. So all of my creative warriors who are on here, and I know I see Marcy's creative warrior, Dorothy. So if you guys are doing... Um, or anyone else in business, if you are doing um, events and you want to live stream into your event and to your page, you have to set it up a different way. And it's kind of a new thing, right? Because there's always like new things on this platform. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and set it up a different way. So I'm still going to play on the paintings. It's just that you may not be able to look like two months in advance um, right off, just so I can like test it first to make sure that it's going to, that live stream will work both ways. That way, some people that are just in the event can not be freaked out, and you'd be able to see it both places, basically, is what I'm trying to say. All right. Um, if anybody knows how to fix this problem, let me know. I have this red tube paint that is literally, I cannot shut it anymore. I guess I better ask him, my husband. He is um, my hubby wubby. He is pretty good at fixing stuff. Try the plus sign, Lisa Marie says. I don't see a plus sign, though. Let me see. Dang it, I don't. Lisa Marie. Okay, let me try this. Bring Lisa Marie. Yes, I want to bring her on. Add her. Add her. Adding. Looks like she's on. Just says, oh, man, new things. I know. Just what the Did you guys just stop in the spring show? Hello. Hey, friends. We did it. We did. So it is welcome. not like the most uh, intuitive thing you would think, is it? <laughs> no, but, um, you know, Jess is on here too, and she knows how this platform rolls. So, <laughs> you know, we just got to kind of roll with it. But anyway, <laughs> pretty much the why way don't you tell my, tell my peeps a little bit about yourself, Lisa Marie, and what you do. Take it away, so, girl. I teach beginner artists how to go from stick figure to fabulous. So I'm not in the realm of Amy and her awesome art. I'm in the beginner stages for um, people who are just learning how to get comfortable and in their own skin doing their art. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm actually testing out this um, watercolor paper, this round watercolor paper that I've been showing you, Amy, and I actually do not like it. <laughs> Really? Why wrong like, with it? Oh, it's terrible. It's not, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the way that the, the watercolor markers work on it. It doesn't, it's just not good. So I'm going to just toss the whole thing and start over. <laughs> well, show them so, what you did though, because it looks really good. I loved what you did. Well, just says, yes, it makes me nuts. I know Jess. like, oh, pull your hair out. What did I put, hold on a second. Don't make me, yeah. let's see. Let me see if I can find what I did with We're her. We're not going anywhere unless we, unless the video <laughs> says 
We shot you I don't all, know. Let's right? see. Hang on one second. I'm looking. Um, let's see here. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. It's down here. So last night I was doing some lettering on the and, the, and that was fine on the watercolor paper if I was just coloring on it. But I like to do a watercolor technique, like um, to work, practice blending and have really good control with your watercolor. So if you're really learning the watercolor side of it, um, just it's a really good beginner style. But um, like I was messing with it tonight and I do not like how it works with the particular style that I'm doing. So um, oh. I'm just going to scrap the paper and start over on the paper I like. <laughs> Do it then. But those, so that's what I, I'm love, doing. I love what you did. And the butterflies are so darn cute. Yeah, and, and they're actually you know, super easy to draw. You know, like that's one shape that I did four times over. That's so easy that you could you could duplicate anyway. So, yeah. And then and they could they could hold it up again. Hold the butterfly leg okay, up to hold the... On. Yeah, I love that. I love how you did that. And they could paint that any or use markers or any color that they want to do. They don't have to do right. orange, right? Oh, blue. Right. You got blue there. So I did blue. So I did different shapes, but um, yeah, like I literally, that's just one shape. I did one shape for the wing and then I duplicated on every side and then um, just, just filled it in. So it really does kind of give you the effect of a butterfly. And that was yeah. something like, I used to have such a hard time drawing butterflies and just learning that one shape and that one design made it so easy. So, so anyways, cool. that's, that's kind of what I like to do is, is to break things down to like the, the bare bones, the basics for people. And, um, and then, you know, hopefully get them to someone like you who can take them to the next level, you know? <laughs> right, right on. So well, when I get beginner artists here that are interested, I'm going to send them your way. And when they are sure. done being beginners on your end, you send them my <laughs> way. But for you know, sure. Mia, I, I focus mostly on teaching artists how to gain collectors online, but we do do paint nights here every Tuesday. Um, and you know, we do do some, I do some instructional stuff too, but mostly more like business stuff. But Lisa Marie, I'm, you know, my medium is acrylic and, I know nothing about watercolors. So you taught me something, girl, because I did well, take a lesson with Lisa Marie on watercolor. And I'm like, wow, this is great. I love it. I like to teach people to dabble in a little bit of everything and kind of figure out where they feel comfortable and where they kind of want to go next. So, um, you know, like I'm not that fantastic artist that you are. I'm kind of, you know, I, I like yes, to help the are. beginners. Don't put yourself well, I down. Well, I like to help the beginners. I like to help the beginners. So um, I like to really help people connect to art. And I know like art is so good for the soul. It's good for the spirit. And it's yeah. just like right now with everything going on, art is just good for us. I'm sure everybody can relate to No matter to that, what so. level you're on. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And so anyway, yep, that's what I'm up to. So I'm literally just sitting here drawing and not liking my watercolor paper right paper right now. <laughs> Good. You get that ready. Oh, I like your earrings. Those are pretty. Thank you. San Antonio. I got those in San Antonio years ago. Nice. <laughs> nice. I am going to lay down. We're, I'm just going to talk, talk about what I'm doing. In, yes. In what are you doing? And then you talk about what you're doing as well so that we can make it a funner video. Um, I am going to varnish. I mean, yeah, I'm going to varnish and wire back uh, two paintings that I had to do. Um, oh, fun. Just saying hi to you, Marcy. I love it when you guys talk to each other. It makes me want to reach out and just hug you. Yay. High five. <laughs> high five. Um, look what I had to get this to do some wire backing. So I'm going to show them how I varnish and wire back paintings. But I will show you guys because I've had a busy day of painting um, and I've been trying to get my back orders done for my collectors. Well, this is, um, <laughs> this is so cute. This is probably the cutest puppy in the world. Like really, uh, one of my collectors, Rosa, she has got, she loves to get those little French bulldogs. Like she's always had little French bulldogs, right? And I think this is her sixth or seventh portrait she had me she likes them painted a certain way and they all match on the wall and they look so that was my dryer by the way it sounded like an explosion in my house it's so loud. <laughs> but anyway so i i finished uh rose's little i saw uh, this earlier that is so cute yeah i mean isn't it adorable he's like yes oh, oh, 
that really pretty, pretty blue eyes. And yeah, he's just super cute, super cute. So I did that She's going to love that. Yeah, I sent her the photos because, you know, you guys, when you are working for your collectors, you want to make sure that you, this is what I do. Well, I can't show you because uh, my phone's here, but I just, I take pictures as I'm painting and then I will send them pictures of the progress and just ask, you want to ask your collectors. This is if you guys, if you're doing a custom order, like a portrait painting, um, or if they send you a, a photograph that they took and they want you to paint, I usually like to just give them some updates. You don't need to do an update every stroke of the way. I'm talking about one or two updates and it makes them happy and it helps them out. So sorry, I didn't see you much. Oh, Marcy, you don't have to say sorry to her. She's right there. She sees you. Oh, but uh, yeah. So it's all about just keeping people happy and staying on the same wavelength. I know a lot of people stress out with doing custom orders and I don't do a whole lot, even though I have a lot on my plate right now, but um, that's because I've been working on Creative Warriors for you guys, which will be open May 9th, will be the first time ever to the public. So mark your calendars, people, for Mother's Day. Um, for sure. But I mostly paint what I feel like and what I want to paint. My collectors just, you know, they grab it when I put it, put it in, uh, make it available to them. But, but when you are doing a custom order, you want to just make sure that you're in contact with your, your people so that you guys are on the same wavelength and it makes the process go nice and smooth. So, oh, Jess is doing laundry and watching. I love that, Jess. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for doing the show, Jess. That was great. Um, so I'll just show you the, the paintings that I'm going to be varnishing and wire backing. And then I'll point the camera down and I'll let Lisa Marie take it away too. So That's okay. I actually did a double of these. Um, this was, do you guys remember this? It was familiar, right? We did this for paint night, not Marcy. I know you did this one too. Was it, la uh, not last week, the week before, I think. Um, it was actually called purple magic, but I put a different spin on it with colors. So, I actually had two collectors that saw, <clears throat> saw us paint that and wanted me to recreate it. So I put them on 16 by 20 canvases and they both, I sent them the photos today and they're both, yes, hurry up, wire back, invoice me, I want that now. So that's what I'm working on and I'll show you guys how to do that. But take it away, Lisa Marie, point your phone down or tell them what you're gonna do. How, how did you learn how to wire back your art, Amy? from my friend Vinny Hale who owns an art gallery. And um, he did a class, it was when I was in the art association and I wouldn't be in it now, but it, well, obviously because of this year, we can't really do anything. Um, but I just honestly got so, <clears throat> got so busy online with uh, gaining collectors so fast when I started putting my paintings online that I <laughs> didn't really have a lot of time except to just paint for my collectors. So that's what I did uh, faithfully every day for years, for th three years now. Um, but someday maybe I'll get back into the art association. But yes, my friend Vinny, he taught me how to <clears throat> wire back and I never forgot that. So thanks Vinny. <laughs> now is that, is that something you touch on a little bit in your membership? I believe we have wire backing in there. Yes. If not, um, um, do we? Let me think. Or is, it, Good question, or is it coming? Is that something you're going to be bringing? If it's if not, it's in, not there? in there now, it will be. <laughs> but I do, I, this is probably like the 10th time I've showed this on a live. So if they missed it before, they'll see it again. And they know yeah, they can ask. They can My peeps can ask me sure. anything. I'll help them. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do um, framing when I worked at the um, University of Texas. I used to frame the art that we, or the posters, the show posters we would do for the theater performances that we would have. And oh, they, nice. they would do like really probably like what you're doing. We would do the wire backing and then the UV glass on the on the pictures and everything. Yeah. And it was I mean, it was, in my opinion, very elaborate for what we were doing. <laughs> oh, wow. But I well, learned. Enjoying, that's great. <laughs> I learned a ton. I feel like your art by far exceeds what we were putting into the frames, but um, I learned a ton. And so I know if there's like so many nuances to it, but it, yeah. you know, once you get it down, it's, it's easy and it definitely right. 
like makes your art look so nice when you're done. Yes. Yeah. I learned a few different techniques, but as far as the canvas board, the uh, stretch and wrapped uh, canvases that I use to paint on, obviously I'm going to show you the technique to wire back this piece. But like Lisa Marie was saying, there's different ways. And Jess is saying that her art council will only accept wire back. Yeah, most of those, oh, yeah. Um, most of those places will. They want, and like, I know if I've done shows for them, but well, I mean, I have done shows with them before. And Jess, you're right, because ours would only allow, um, it has to be wire backed and it actually had to have a frame. They wouldn't let us have uh, unframed pieces, but my collectors love them like this and, and they just hang them up just like this. Um, I tell them they can get frames professionally made if they would like. My good old husband, Tim, who does so much for me, has made me some gorgeous frames throughout the house. I'll take you nice. on the course sometime. But, um, but yeah, right now we're just going to wire back a little bit and we're going to watch Lisa Marie as well. So right now I'm just going to measure where I want the the hooks, the eye hooks, and I'm gonna mark it with my Sharpie. So this is done on a, you know, a portrait way, portrait, not landscape, the portrait way. So I am going to, I just kind of eyeball this part. I kind of go to like the center. This is how I measure, like just pull towards the center. Then I go up a little bit and kind of figure out where that would be. So then I take out my measuring tape, which is way too long, by the way, it's like, uh, freaking tape arm or something. Um, I'm going to go about six. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, do, 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 do. I'm going to go six inches from the top down. Okay. Six inches from the top down, mark that and mark the other side six inches from the top down. All right, Lisa Marie, tell them what you're going to do. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still fidgeting over here. So I'm, oh, okay. I'm t so I am um, currently uh, on my page. I'm just doing a daily art project once a day for um, my members to just kind of get in the practice of doing an a daily art, um, you know, and really remembering how important art is in our life. And so um, we're doing every other day we're lettering or we're drawing something. So yesterday we were lettering. That's where we came up with this whole breathe deeply um can i just say the your lettering is impeccable like i can't <laughs> i just wrote my website on here and well it looks pretty good backwards because i have an android phone and i can't turn it around <laughs> i but was just thinking mine's backwards too good. Yeah, well, it's taken me a little bit of practice, but it's really, honestly, just drawing. It's muscle memory, just practice over and over. And I was thinking, like, maybe next month I will do, I will just pick a font and go through, because there's 26, you know, letters in the alphabet. So maybe one letter a day I could go through and practice doing those letters every day. And that's really how I learned it. I picked one font and practiced it over and over and over. And so I feel like if I did that with, uh, you know, whoever wants to join in with me, that would be a really great way to learn just one basic font yeah. of lettering. And, oh, my gosh. Um, so, and then can you imagine what they could do and create yes. right after they do the whole yes. alphabet? It's like, yes. wow. Like, there's so many gifts or, like, I – Honestly, um, what started me on this was I had a friend who um, sent me a Christmas card one year, and it was just our name, Holly, um, but she had lettered it, like, on cool? the envelope. Her last name is and Holly like, for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, but she had lettered our, um, our name on the envelope, and I was like so impressed. I was like, oh my goodness, like my, that Christmas card stood out and I still like, I don't remember most of the Christmas cards I get, but I remember that one. And um, so I was like, that's something I want to learn how to do. It's just, you know, like a skill I wanted. And so yeah. that's kind of what got me started on it. And so um, I feel like this is something like people, you know, would definitely enjoy learning how to do. And so um Anyway, I was thinking like the the art challenge is fun, but I even just breaking it down even further and doing the lettering next week yeah. or next month might be fun. So if anybody wants to join in. <laughs> yes. Well tell so. them where they can find you if they want to join in your lettering or your <laughs> little fun butterflies of beautiful creations. So um, I'm at Inspired by Lisa Marie and it's very 
it is. It's very basic. I am not doing what Amy's doing. I'm doing very basic um, art, but uh, yeah, it's super easy and fun, and um, it's a great thing for you know moms who are staying at home um, with their families, looking for just um, or staying home with their kids who are looking for something for themselves. Um, it's good for anybody who's just you know starting a skill at any age. And um, I know like there's a lot of people who who say to me you know like I can't even pick up a paintbrush because I'm not I'm not creative. And I'm like just come and just try something and you'll be amazed at you know like what you can accomplish if you just try and so um anyways that's i, I really encourage people to come and do that kind of thing with me and so um, i used to work in the expressive therapy center and um, i know how important art is to the quality of life for um everybody and so i just I, i'm so passionate about it and i just feel like i just want to give that gift to people especially people who don't connect with art like you know art is so good <laughs> right if you, right. If you can well, connect I know a lot of that, my so. a lot of my collectors well uh, other people as well but in my collectors group if i talk about painting or drawing they're like i can't draw a stick figure so i'm so i just love your slogan lisa marie stick figure to fabulous art i mean because that's really what you do is you take them from it being is. scared and I just mean, being able to do that one you know little stick figure and then turn it into some beautiful lettering and beautiful little butterflies and all kinds of cute little yeah. designs and things you can. And what I love about what you do also is that you don't just show them one medium. Like I said, you taught me some stuff about watercolor. I mean, I'm not even a watercolor artist, but the way that you teach and you show with different mediums, I think that's great because then they can choose hey, I like this one. Maybe I don't like this one. They can pick and choose what they like. I'm going to show you quickly what I'm going to use to put the holes in my um, canvas. I mean, not in wow. my canvas. If I did that in my canvas, you guys, I would not have a sale. But in <laughs> my frame, Tim, I'm always talking about Tim. Marcy, by the way, I did tell Tim that you said hello. And he was like, so elated. He's like, really? One of your people said hello to me? I'm like, yes, Aww. she did. So he bought me these tools um, a few years ago, and he just got them at Lowe's. I don't even know what to tell you guys what they are, but I use these for I've never seen wire. those before. Yeah, I use them for wire backing. I'm not sure what they're for. He probably would know, but he's DJing tonight. So yes, Marcy, you made his day. You really Aww. did. Thank you. So I'm going to use this one that looks like a little L, and usually I hold my canvas right right here with my head believe it or not but you know what i'm gonna try and, <laughs> when i try and knock it in but i'm gonna try and um, come up with a better version of this maybe i can actually use my wall duh since it's right here and i don't know we'll see i don't want that to fall you know what i'm gonna get i'm gonna get um First of all, hopefully you can, I was going to say, hopefully you can see my butt when I was bending over, but the camera was turned, so we're good. All right, I'm going to use this like little rubber piece, you know, those things that you can unturn the, the jars with or whatever, you know what I mean? I'm going to put oh, that yeah. here so my, my canvas doesn't slip. Then, I don't know, this is the first time I've tried it with just the wall. Hopefully, um, hopefully this will work, and then that way I don't have to hold it with my head. Yes. It does work. Usually Yoda starts to do the siren right now because I think someone's knocking at the door. All Is Yoda your that's dog? My, that's my chihuahua, Yoda. Uh. But he, um, well, actually it's Justine's chihuahua that I bought her when she was 13, but she's almost 25. And guess who takes care of him? Or who has had him this whole time? Anyway, that's how it goes when you buy kids' pets. Don't do it, people. Don't do it. So I'm just banging this tool, this L-shaped tool into where I marked the um, spot for the, uh, for the, what the heck, for the eyes, for the little, <laughs> what are they called, you guys? I just said it a couple minutes ago. I think that's right, isn't it? The eyes? The eye hooks, the eye hooks, yes. So, I'm, I always wire back before I varnish. That way I don't have to turn it over and get it if the varnish isn't all dried, I don't want to put the canvas face down. So um, that's why I do the, the wire back first. 
literally, I can't believe Yoda is not doing the siren. It's probably because he's on um, some steroids right now. He's got a lot of allergies, so he's pretty much had it. <laughs> Speaking of steroids, I don't know. Tim, Tim has whatever Yoda has because it's from at work when he does karaoke and he has to use all the hand sanitizer things to wipe the microphones. He broke out in the worst case of psoriasis I've ever seen in my life, right to the hospital. And he, so he's been on, you know, the st steroids as well. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> poor, poor dog, poor Tim. But anyway, he's feeling better. So now I have this little contraption that I got at the dollar store. Um, the wire, the eye hooks, these I did not get at the dollar store, but the plastic thing I did, you guys can use anything, but I, I keep my, uh, wire, my, um, eye hooks in here. Uh, just call them thingamajigs. Yes. I love that. What was that on Marcy thingamajigs? You, or at least Marie, you probably know you got little kids. So was it like doc, the little mermaid the who, who <laughs> build people? I don't know. Oh, what I don't you, know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, the oh yeah yeah Dr. Seuss thingamajig watch your mana I, I don't know. Anyway, while I put these eye hooks in, um, I'm going to be using this other thingamajig, Marcy. <laughs> Thank you for that. And then so I start to screw this in, and then I use this thingamajig to go like this, and then I twirl it in. So that's what I'm going to do while Lisa Marie tells you what she's doing. Oh, I'm just playing. So I'm doing a little bit of lettering. So I'm, you can't even see really because it's backwards, but I'm doing April showers. I don't love my umbrella. I'm still working on the whole, because I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I don't want to make it complicated. <laughs> but uh, I want to be able to give people uh, a quick win so they can see that it is, you know, totally doable. Like you can totally do lettering. It's not that difficult. So um, it looks intimidating, but it's not as intimidating as maybe it looks. So, can we watch you do it? Can you put your phone in the holder, or will you? Uh, okay, it? I don't know what's gonna happen if I turn it, but I can try here. Oh uh, no, we don't want you to lose us. Let's see. Can you see me? Can you see? Yes, with, I don't know what you. I don't know what you're seeing. To be honest with you, we can see. We can see. Okay. Yep. So yeah. So let me go, let's see. Let me go back. I'll do the lettering again. Actually, so just point come. it down just a little bit more. Let's see, like that? A Here, I'll move more. this. Hold on, let me move this. How about that? Perfect, Is that perfect. Better? Yes, right, right like that. Okay. Everybody get out your paper and a pencil <laughs> or a pen. So um, I was just doing April. So I was just taking um, a big sort of flourishing A. Okay, so I just did a big curve with a hump and a curve at the bottom and um, just crossed it over. Okay, and then I, um, I'm going to add my P, so I'm going to do a curve and a P. I always lift my pencil between all my letters. So you guys, go I, this is backwards. I'm sorry. Because if so, like, is it? I don't even know how to change it. I'm sorry. No, it's not you. It's me because you're on my live and I have it facing this way. So, but they still can get the gist of what you're doing, even though it's backwards. Yeah. They can and really honestly, impress their friends by doing backwards letters. So. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, it is literally just practice, like repeat, practice, repeat, trace it, practice it, repeat until you kind of get the muscle memory for each letter. So I picked a font that I really like. This loopy font is what I kind of call it. And um, and then what I do, once I have my letters down, like my basic letters, I go in and do um, what they call um, thickening the downstrokes, which is like a total cheater's way of brush lettering. So in brush lettering, you would, you would press harder to get a thicker stroke in some spots. I just literally go in and thicken all the areas. That's not even a downstroke now that I'm talking about it. The downstroke would be anywhere that your pencil naturally goes down when you're doing a letter. So I would thicken this area right here and not anything else. And then I would thicken. So like think about when I'm doing my P, I would thicken this right here. I would not thicken the next part. I would thicken this part. And I would do that for all of my letters. So even on my R where I go down here, I would thicken this 
I would thicken this. And you, you can kind of pick where would be the best place maybe to thicken my R. I would thicken my I here, and I would thicken my L. And then I come back with my Sharpie, and that's pretty much it. And um, I know I did that really fast because this is not my – you know, this is your live, Amy. I'm just on here. <laughs> hey, you're you're hanging out with me and my people, you know, if I'm welcoming you on here, they're gonna love you. They will. So, so no, but I they... appreciate the company and hanging out with me and everybody. <laughs> but yeah, so if so you're you just can joining me, I'm wire backing some paintings right now for my collectors, and I'm gonna varnish. And my friend Lisa Marie is on here doing some lettering. I apologize. I do have my camera kind of backwards here so that you can learn how to do some backwards lettering. <laughs> but Lisa Marie is great and she's offering um, this kind of stuff on her page inspired by Lisa Marie. And she'll tell you all about it. If you have any questions, let her know. Yeah. So um, my membership is really like a super basic version of what Amy does. And so, um, you know, it's really fun, especially for, I mean, it's, it's good for, you know, young people if they want to learn, but really it's any age. Like we learn to do new skills at any age. My grandmother, um, she's in her eighties and she is just learning how to paint and she is loving it. And so oh I, I, God, I really, awesome. yes. And she's doing art like you, Amy. Like I think age is just a number and it does not limit like what we can do at all. And so, um, you know, I'm sure you agree with that. And, yeah. um, and so anyway, I feel like, you know, like we can do this at any point in time. And so I don't, you know, my, my membership is great for kids, but really it's great for anybody. And there's a lot of people, like a lot of stay at home moms and a lot of people, um, who are adults that maybe just never got the opportunity to learn something creative and then just want to, you know? And so right. that's kind of. That's kind of what I'm doing. Right on. And you can do so much fun stuff with this, you know? And so, anyway. And it doesn't have so, to I mean, be perfect. I send out so much happy meal, and, like, I have a whole slew of, like, birthday cards and stuff. And, geez, I would love to learn how to do that stuff, to, to write, you know, pretty things on it like that. Yeah. Like, it's a good marriage of what we do, isn't it? So, yeah, you can totally. definitely make some really cool um, – you know, cards out of this, or I was, so for my challenge tonight, when I finally actually do it, it's going to, I'm going to be doing an umbrella, but I didn't like anything I've done so far. <laughs> so I'm playing with it, but um, let me see if I can find my calendar that I've been doing here. Let's see. Um, I've been going, I've been busy. So, so we just started on, um, let's see, we started on the 1st of April. So we just went through and we've been lettering we drew some sheep we did some lettering for flower power i've got a daily calendar so tomorrow we're going to be lettering the words beautiful mess because that about that pretty much encompasses me um and then, I think a lot uh, of us. We, we i drew on an easter basket love this life we lettered it a little bit so you can see like you can change it and you know adapt it to whatever you're doing so um, but tonight I'm drawing an umbrella, but I've gotten distracted by, again, lettering. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I love it. But and they can put, like, like, different colors on the lettering, too. Right? Well, hold on one second. Oh, yeah. I just want to show you guys where I'm up to. So I'm using this wire. Um, I usually get it at Lowe's or um, my local hardware shop. And it basically has a bunch of little teeny wires that are twisted into this one thicker wire, okay? And then on the very end, this is how you wire back your own wrapped canvases when they're wrapped around a wooden frame. So then I just take my uh, pliers and I just bend the end a little bit, kind of like loop that and grab it like this and then put it right through the eye hook that I have right here that I just put the eye hooks in. And, oh! Excuse me. I know I'm making weird sounds as I try and stand up. But, um, yeah, I, I make that L so that I can easily get it through that wire. I mean, the eye hook and pull it up with my pliers. And I pull it through about two and a half or three inches. Then I take my pliers and squeeze it tightly at the bottom 
um, right next to the eye hook so that it's nice and close to it. Then I wrap this, twist it, twist it, twist it all the way around. Be careful when this, when you get close to uh, the top, um, you want to like twist back down so that it's not all twisted um, all the way up. You want to once again go like reverse kind of so then it's going to look like this where i twisted it and then reversed it then to do the final touch on that i take uh, electrical tape and then i wrap electrical tape right around where i twisted it so that nobody pokes their finger on it and uh, the little ends don't poke through the canvas and ruin your painting so then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hold this and see like how tight it is. We don't want, we want a lot, we want some play in here, right? We want this to lift up at least an inch, if not more. Mine's lifting up a lot more than that, which is fine. Because I want to make sure that it's not touching the top here. So it can come close to the top, but it should not touch the top. So that's how much play. I'm gonna give it. All right, just wanted to let them know what I'm doing. Now you go ahead and take it away. No, that's okay. Um, when you varnish your paintings, you're getting ready to do that. Are you, are you doing that after you're, after you're framing it, Amy? I'm wire backing and then varnishing, yep. Gotcha. I, like to varnish, you... I like to varnish after because I don't, after so I varnish it, I just up. wanna leave it and, and let it dry. Yeah. Um, do you just do one coat, one direction when you do it? Usually I go kind of go back. I'll, I'll show them in a minute, but I kind of go back and forth. Like the way gotcha. that, the, that the, uh, the way that I painted it. So where this one, most of the strokes, even though the, uh, painting is painted portrait way, uh, or vertical way most of my strokes as you can see through the sky through the water all that is vertical so i will actually take my foam brush and i will put the varnish on take my foam brush and go back and forth like this where the way that most of my strokes are going if that makes any sense yeah it does yeah i was just curious i've seen i've seen a couple of different techniques so i was just curious Sorry, I could have waited until you got to that part. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do my umbrella. I've had, there's so many different ways you could do it. Let's see. Lisa kind of Marie, toying. can you just come up with stuff off the top of your head to draw or in paint? Or do you need to yeah. like think about it prior? Um, kind of both. Like, um, I, I do, I come up with things sort of on the top of my head. Um, and sometimes I brainstorm it. <laughs> so what if, that really so what if, an um, answer. So what if uh, somebody watching right now asked you to draw something? Like, could could you most likely give it a whirl? Or yeah, would that be what do you like, want me to draw? A, oh, well, wait, we'll see. Ask them. Ask them what they, what, do you, what, 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 do you guys what would you like me to draw? Because <laughs> they, they do that to me a lot, like when I'm painting. And plus, we, we've done the paintings before where I'm like, oh, Okay, let's do a painting together. They know if they watch my camel painting. Um, I would I never. I watched your paint. camel painting so far. Yeah, and I would have never painted a camel, but they'll help me out. They're like, and Marcy was like, paint the background. Let's use some yellow, and then we had pink, and it, it was just it came out gorgeous. Everybody was like, okay, Marcy wants ducks. I want ducks too. That's a good one. Ducks. Okay, wait a minute. I actually, yes, I actually have a design, a, a duck design that I do. Here, hang on a second. Just give me one second. I'm coming right back to you. I promise. Yeah, sure. All right. So this is <clears throat> this is uh, both sides done now with the um, the hooks and the wire. And do you see how when it's hung, I don't want it to touch this right? And you don't even, you guys really don't need to, to wire back these if you don't want to, but you need to be very clear with your collectors. Um, thank you, Marcy. 
you want to be very clear if you are going to wire back or not. Now, with my collectors, I tell them I always varnish and wire back unless they do not want me to, but I have a very slim few that don't want me to do that. So that's why I do this for them. I go the extra mile. Okay, go ahead, Lisa Marie. Okay, I'm starting with the beak. I'm gonna make what a beak. Of, what, what kind of duck is it? Oh, it's just a little puddle duck. <laughs> I don't Aww. know, I don't know what you call it. But uh, yeah, so let's do something. I mean, this is very, like I said, I am not on Amy's caliber when I'm teaching my art. I'm doing my own sort of version of uh, teaching really basic art, but I've got, I do have a duck in my repertoire to be totally honest with you. So let's see, we're gonna do, so this is the, the beak. I'm gonna add a little something to it here. And then, um, let's see, let's do like, uh, there we go. So there's the beak. And then let's do, let's just close eyes. And then, maybe this, well, I have to do an umbrella tonight. Maybe I'll put an umbrella on my duck and then do it. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, that's a good idea. So he's he's got that's his little wings. I know she's using pencil, you guys, right now, but then she will. Dart yeah, I'll go over it wings. again. I know. <laughs> Sorry. You'll be able to see it like come to life in a moment. So here is my completed wire backing for one of my uh, one of my paintings. And like I said, um, my collectors, I sold one of these paintings uh i don't know a couple years ago and then i do a lot of like simplified versions for paint night right and then i had two of my collectors ask me to recreate so i just recreated uh these two pieces and um yeah that's why i'm varnishing and wire backing if you missed the beginning all i did was measure down from the top six inches and I put in a um, eye hook and on each side, and this is the top. So it's not in the middle, it's like up here a little bit. What's that, three fourths or what? I'm not good with telling you what that. I just go to the middle, then I go up a little bit, basically. All right, and my friend Lisa Marie, if you guys have not met her, um, say hi to Lisa Marie. She teaches beginner art, and uh, she teaches people how to go from stick figure to <laughs> fabulous art. And she's taking a request right here. Uh, and Marcy uh, mentioned to draw a duck, so she's going for it. And that's it's pretty darn good, man. I don't know if I could just come up with stuff like that at the top of my head. You know what, at least Marie, when we, well, and everybody listening, you know what I'm like really, really bad at, you guys, I'm not even gonna believe it, but I am, is uh, Pictionary. And when we <laughs> go to play Pictionary, when we get together, family get togethers, and like one of the kids is always like, I want Annie Amy to be on my team. I'm like, no, you don't. I don't know. For some reason, I just feel, and we turn that hourglass over, and I'm like, I'm under pressure, and I'm trying to come up with something off the top of my, it's pretty hilarious. Somebody's like, you're, you're an artist, like seriously, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not very good at Pictionary, though. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's <laughs> see. I am just using, I don't know what the name of this wire is. I probably should pay more of attention, but I get it at Lowe's or um, my local hardware store. And I try and buy as much as I can because I have a lot of paintings to wire back. But they, um, it, they're just little teeny, like if I pull this apart, you would see little teeny tiny pieces and they're all kind of like wrapped together. So that's the type of wire that I like to use. And that's what I'm using to wire back. So I put the holes in and then I put the eye hooks. And now on the end of the wire, I just take my pliers and I just bend it a tiny bit like that, like a little L and stick it right through that eye hook. And then I pull it up like uh, two and a half or three inches. And I squeeze the very end of it close to the eye hook. 
and then I twist, twist around here. And I am sweating to death. I gotta take off my sweatshirt and take a drink of water. And Lisa Marie, take it from here for a moment. <laughs> well, I'm just, um, I'm not even happy with how this little duck has turned out, but that's partly because I'm just, I'm just messing around. <laughs> Well, I literally went from, that's okay. I went from, uh, you know, I was uh, not too happy with my watercolor paper to Amy's like, come on and visit me. So I was like, sure. <laughs> but hey, you know, why not? So, yep. Yes, that's I'm enough. glad you popped on. Are you guys glad she's here? She's sweetie. Uh, and I, I'm trying to read Marcy's comment, but it's like right, right across like where your paper is. So I can't really read it. Can you see it, Lisa Marie? Let's see. It says, uh, so you're picked last then. <laughs> she must have been talking to you. Oh, yes. That was about um, Pictionary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Marcy. Marcy. You wouldn't oh, want ahead. to be on my team. I was going to say, you wouldn't want to be on my team for Pictionary. Does Marcy <laughs> post pictures of her art um, in Creative Warriors? I have, I would, I, she's always showing up. I would be interested to see how, what her art looks like or how she's doing yeah, with it. That's main pictures. I usually don't, um, I usually don't have my Creative Warriors um, or painters from Paint Night post on my page, Amy Parker. Art, oh, sure. Just because, I, just because I have so many collectors, I don't want them to get confused and be like, Amy, which art is yours? But in Creative oh, Warriors, yes, we do have a place in the group to show your work. And Marcy has come a long way in a short period of time. You'd be proud of her, Lisa Marie. Um, yeah, I love that things. you always show up, Marcy. That's so awesome. And then for those that are not a creative warrior yet, you got to get in there. Um, but those that are not and uh, uh, that are in my free group, because anybody can jump in there, especially if you paint with me on Tuesday night, you should get into the free group. It's called Creative Dreams. You can find it right here on the page under community. Um, and then they, um, you should see the wonderful uh, pictures in there, uh, paintings that they do. It's 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 gorgeous. Like this I'm is in the Creative that, Dreams group that you do. Yeah, that's my free group. So um, anyone who paints with me on Tuesday night, um, or even if they don't, if they want to get into the free group, that's fine. But it is for creatives, and it is um, for them to share their creative dreams with me and everyone else in the group, um, if they so choose. But it's also a place for them to. Uh, show me their paintings from paint night because a lot of them send me like inbox messages which is fine and you guys still can do that but a lot of them ask for critique and I don't mind doing uh, that yeah. in my way um, so if they because I don't want just anybody being like oh you should do this you should do that but most of well I shouldn't say most but a lot of my painters from Tuesday and I will send me pictures and say Oh my gosh, what can I do to fix this? Or do you like this? Or does this look good? Or does that look so we kind of talk about that stuff in Creative Dreams. Not a ton, but we do. Um, but as I tell them though, that I give my creative warriors utmost attention. I mean, those are my creative warriors. They're paying me and and I have a special place for them for the membership. So I gotta go where, you know, if someone's paying me, I'm gonna be there. Um, but yeah, so those two places, and I, I love it. I love helping out, and uh, I'm just having a little issue with my phone. It was saying that it was going to shut off on me. I'm going to have to plug this in somewhere else. Ugh. So I don't know if it will reach. Let me see. Of course, I was having an issue with glitches today at the platform like all of us uh, uh, were. Hello, Bethany. Thank you for being here, honey. Oh, Bethany is a beautiful painter. She does really, really good. Marcy says I'm trying. Marcy, you are trying hard, honey, and you're doing great. Really, really I, nice. And consistency is key, you know, when you're learning. So that's awesome. And uh, Marcy says, uh, it's nice to meet you, Lisa Marie. I watched one of your videos a few days ago. So that's great. Awesome. Thanks, Marcy. Lisa Marie. <laughs> thank you, Marcy. I'm, uh, I'm still learning the whole platform situation. So thank you <laughs> for the support. <sighs> 
So you guys, while you're backing, Lisa Marie is working on a, what are you working on? I can't really see because it's still oh, light. I, just, I, I moved on. I'm doing some uh, rain boots now because it's, it's still April, but I've got my umbrella back here. Look, I worked my umbrella in. So uh, oh, I'm just yeah. getting creative. Getting creative now. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to, how I'm going to do my umbrella tonight to make it fun for my people. So. What color are you going to do the umbrella? Um, I'm thinking like cool colors, maybe purples and blues. What do you think? Yeah, that'll look good. That'll we'll look see. good. Yeah, I'm totally just winging it, but you know, why not? <laughs> hey, I wing it a lot too. I wing so. it too sometimes. Especially when, you know, when I'm just trying to come up with it. A design or an idea, you know, I'm just like, yep, do sure. a lot of this kind of messing around with my, my, um, sketch pads, you know, like you guys better make sure that you have some kind of, um, sketch pad so that you can practice, uh, with some designs, things that you want. I love this Strathmore paper. And um, this stuff is awesome. I've done a ton of portrait drawings on the Strathmore paper throughout the years. So I like save this for my specialty uh, pieces. But then I just grab like um, cheaper versions of, you know, Canton's or whatever. And I do all kinds of like little doodles and things. And uh, this one uh, obviously doesn't have a whole lot in it. I have oh, underneath here in that box, I have a ton of stuff. But mostly just do like little doodles and things like that or just kind of draw this is one of my my dogs that passed away last year see there oh my gosh i miss him um uh, but you can see like my guitar in there like i was probably sitting in the living room and just painting i mean drawing the dog and working on different things that was um one of my daughters i was just sketching out and you know so what can i even write stuff ideas uh what should i draw next <laughs> As if I wrote that on the air, I don't know. Maybe I had a glass of wine that night. Uh, but it, this is one of Emily, my daughter, that I, I'd never finished, but I started drawing. But anyway, so you, you really should, I'm sure if you're an artist, you already have a bunch of sketchbooks, but I'm just letting you know what, what I use. And um, usually I would be done wire backing and varnishing right now, but we're talking a lot and having fun and hanging out with you guys. And my friend Lisa Marie. So yes, <laughs> so right everything fine, though. Honey. But I would love to know if you if you are new and you're just popping on, go ahead and say hello, say hi. Uh, Bethany is doing uh, the rainbow picture for you, uh, so she's excited to see what you're gonna do. Well, get on your flowers. You're pretty fast. You're pretty fast. I'm interested to know how your um how your regular folks here found you, Amy. Um, I don't know. Why don't you guys tell them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tell me. Good. Like, how did you guys find Amy? I mean, I'm just always online and you know, telling them what I do and showing them stuff. And I don't know. I mean, but I, I would know love how I found Amy, but I'm just curious how everybody else found Amy. That's just that's such an awesome uh, opportunity to learn from her. She's got so much information to give you. So I'm just curious how you came across her. Yeah, I'd be curious to know that too. And I, I know how some of them have, but Marcy's back. Marcy, that wasn't very long. See, you guys, I just uh, wired back to this painting that I um, completed the other day. So I have two. I did these. I did these on a live, actually, side by side, because um, I had a uh, two different collectors that wanted the same piece. So that's what I did. I set them up on my table and I painted them um, like in an assembly line. If you want to see it, go ahead and um, go back and check it out. Uh, Bethany Dale, my cousin Sean Diamond. Oh my gosh, Bethany. I should have known that as if I had a brain cramp. That is amazing. So Sean Diamond is an amazing drummer and uh, was in my band for a very, very long time. And I just talked to him the other day. I miss him. And 
Well, I mean, as you know, the whole world hasn't really been out in like a year, but um, yes, yeah, so that was so cool. I literally, not even a week ago, I just talked to him. Uh, so she's saying that's how she found you? Is that what she's saying? Yes. So oh, my, awesome. my uh, ex drummer told her, yes, we'll probably be, we'll probably be playing again with me sometime. So Katie asks, how oh. far down, um, Lisa Marie, just move the bottom of the paper for a second so I can read her comment, honey. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, just put your hand there. Okay, yeah, how far down did you put the eye, eye bolts? Okay, go ahead and pull it back. I can see now. That's okay. Um, I put them six inches down. So this is an 11 by, uh, not an 11 by 14, I'm sorry. This is a 16 by 20 canvas, and I put them uh, six inches down. And then I just, you know, I have some give in here, and some play, and I just make sure that it does not touch the top when it's going to go to hang. And I always wrap the electrical tape around here so that those little tiny wire pieces do not poke through the canvas or your finger, right? We don't want that to happen. Okay, now that I have those wire backs, um, Roses is already done. Roses is the one hanging up here. I, if you guys miss Roses, I gotta show you because I just had this custom order this week too and just got finished and she loves it. And I have, I have painted- um, So good. I painted, uh, I think she probably has, um, she always has these wicked cute little English bulldogs and they're just so adorable and she loves getting, having me paint them and she has like a wall of fame of her little babies and this one is like the cutest thing. Just look at the color of the eyes. I mean, so cute. So stinking cute. I just want to reach out and hug them. But anyway, so I, I um, finished that one today too. So yeah, that okay awesome katie um i'm glad i could help you out honey any questions you guys have yes please ask Kaden says well thank you Kaden." and uh yeah rosa so i think that's i think i i think it's her sixth or seventh painting that she's gotten from me for her little english bulldogs anyway so cute all right so I'm going to put this hammer away. I don't think I need it anymore. If you guys missed the beginning on how I was wire backing, the reason I have the hammer out is because my husband, and don't worry, I, I show backing a lot. I'm, I'm always in my studio here. If you need to, you know, if you missed anything, let me know. But uh, my husband had bought me these tools a couple of years ago. I don't know what they're for. He's not home for me to ask them, <laughs> ask him. But I use the hammer because I use this pointy thing to actually put down in my the piece of wood here. And then I hammer that in to put the little eye hook in it. Just when you are wire backing, like doing an online art show, which is what I teach you guys how to do in Creative Warriors. I teach you how to do how how to make a creative living and gain art collectors like I've done with auction shows and parties. So like say that you're doing a show. And literally sometimes, I mean, I'll have 20, 50, 60 paintings to, to wire back and varnish and send out. That's a really good show. That's a bit like, that's a wow, right? And I was always just kind of complaining and, oh my God, this is hard. So when he saw me struggling with all of those, like, I got to get this stuff out. He went and bought me these little tools and I can't even remember what he told me they were for, but they're not for, I don't think they're for this, but he's pretty inventive. But yeah, it works good. So I use this one. It saves a lot of time to poke that hole in there, get your, your, um, your eye hook screwed in. And then I use this one after you just start it and screw it in. I use this one to hook into the head of the, um, you know, the little eye and then spin it and spin it and spin it. And when you keep spinning it, it'll screw it right in so it won't hurt your fingers. And when you are when you are wire backing and varnishing that many paintings, um, you're gonna be thankful you got these little things that I need to find out what they are. Lisa Marie, I love the colors and I love the boots. I need to get some boots <laughs> like that. Well, I'll talk like about, them. like I'm literally just winging it right now. So. <laughs> They're 
adorable. And Thank you, you guys, make sure you um, always sign your paintings and date them. And I always put my website right on the back of every single painting. So just to let you know. <clears throat> Amy, do you Where, find that you, you sell a lot to the same collectors? I have a lot that have, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, Bethany's asking, where can I order those tools, Amy? Um, Bethany, Tim got them, got them for me at Lowe's. Um, so I'm not sure. I need to, I need to find out what those tools are called first. So then I can look them up and tell you guys where to get them if you want to order them. Because we can get anything we want on Amazon, right? Most likely. But at a hardware store, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave one of these out on my other table to remind me to ask him tomorrow. What are these called, babe? So I can tell my peeps. Anyway, Lisa Marie, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to answer. You're not interrupting me. <laughs> I thought I was. I thought I was interrupting no, you. No, no, no. I'm enjoying listening to how you're doing all of it, actually. So uh, oh, you can keep going you. if you want. I mean, I'm gonna so I'm gonna varnish, but <laughs> this is great because they can get a double, some double fun here by seeing the wire back and the varnishing and the beginner art down here. Bethany, you're welcome, honey. Yes, you are welcome. Yes, and Bethany, why don't you PM me tomorrow, like afternoon? Because Tim, you know, he DJs and he works really late, so he's not gonna be up for a while. But PM me in the afternoon. I left my tool out though, so that I hopefully won't forget. Because I, I, I'm curious to know what they're called, right? So that we can find them. All right. So uh, if you're just joining us, I'm Amy from Amy Parker Art and founder of Creative Warriors. And uh, this is my friend, Lisa Marie, who um, is also uh, an artist and she teaches beginner art and she does some really cool things. So she's on here just hanging out with me and we're just showing yeah. you guys some stuff amy i would also like to know like um what is what are some of the favorite things that you know maybe marcy or some of your creative warriors have enjoyed doing with you like what are their favorite things that they've learned from you i'm curious like you know <clears throat> well i mean they if can they're willing tell to you share that, with me yeah, of creative warriors. Course. <laughs> but, let um, me know. Let me know what y'all are loving from Amy. Yeah, I would love to hear it from them. Although they do message me and let me know. Listen, Creative Warriors is um, my membership, my mentor membership that I have for you guys. Um, I created it because I didn't want to forget all the things that I needed to do um, that I learned, that I discovered and found along the way to gain over 700 art collectors and a short period of time. So I put that together mostly for me in the beginning and recorded everything so that I would know where to go and to get the information when I need it because I'm kind of scatterbrained sometimes and it's like I need to find stuff and I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm techie now, but I used to not be techie. So I wanted to make sure I had it all. Anyway, make a long That's story so short. so awesome that you're doing that. Um, yeah. So yeah, I put all that together and then shortly after i started gathering some of the information i'm thinking you know i always wanted an art coach or an art mentor somebody to help me like how to do this how to do this thing online and how to gain collectors and uh, make a living or a side hustle with my artwork so that's what i did i put that together on exactly how i did it so that i can give it to my creative warriors so i know um it's it's new right i mean it's not i've been gathering the information for three years okay there's three years worth of content in the creative warriors library um but i still haven't opened to the public yet and i'm going to be opening hello big announcement on may 9th so 31 Ooh. days from today i'm going to be opening to the public and um, it'll be open for five days, five days. So if you guys want to get in there, go for it. I know a lot of you are already on the waiting list. And um, I do have 12 members right now um, that I did let. I did do um, just a kind of a quiet opening a while back. And I have 12 members. Um, but, we, we, you know, we are small right now because this is my baby. And it's just like being born on May 9th, really. 
So I'm really looking forward to gaining uh, more of you in there. So anyway, Lisa Marie, to answer your question, apparently I can just keep on talking. Um, is <laughs> I know that Dorothy, Dorothy is one of my newest creative warriors and she says she, she loves my, um, my uh, banter, my down to earth personality. A lot of them For tell me sure. that. For <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, but Marcy, I know has told me numerous times that she loves how I answer back and I do answer questions and I, I always make sure to do that. And I, I want to do that. I mean, gosh, they're, they're in the membership. They're paying me and yeah. they're trusting me and they want me to help them. And I love having them in there. And that, that is literally my biggest passion at this point in my life. I love art and all things about art, which I'll do forever and ever. But I really, really, at this point in my life, really want to help other artists, especially uh -huh. if you love to um, do creative paintings like this, like landscapes or abstracts. Those are my, my big things. Um, I paint in acrylics. You don't have to. You can paint in anything else. But I do some tutorials, and um, my tutorials are in acrylics because that's, uh, that's my specialty. Um, but anyway, yeah. So Yeah, but know. how awesome is it to get, like, one-on-one -on -one feedback from you while, you know, you're going along and learning this stuff? And, you know, getting in on the, on the beginning side of it is pretty amazing. <laughs> so uh, that's awesome. I'm glad that they're loving it. Yeah. Yeah, they are. And I know, you know, I know we are going to grow huge. I know we are, because let me tell you firsthand, I know I need this information. And if anyone else out there who is an artist wants to know how to gain collectors online and how to do this online world thing, because I'm old school typer. I mean, I didn't really know how, how to really do anything. And I teach a lot of, of how to do that kind of stuff. Um, tech things behind the scenes. Um, I show you how to do your own auctions, how to host your own art shows and parties and things like that. Um, and how to gain collectors, where to congregate them, how to talk to them, things like that. And um, yeah, that's it's awesome. All about. It's just how <laughs> there's it's so a many process. process. Yeah, there's so many creative people who like they just don't even know how to do the tech side of it. So the fact that you're willing to show people how to do that is amazing. <laughs> like, yeah, well, what I, an inside I did it scoop. For a long time. So yes, that is a you know I, I didn't know how to do it for a long time, but I I did you know ended up figuring it out, and uh, yeah, so I'm super excited to be able to give that give that back and make their lives a little bit easier and. The great thing about if you guys, if you're watching and wondering if you should get on the wait list for Creative Warriors, um, first of all, it's free to do. So yeah, you should. Um, second of all, I'm opening for the first time, like I said, May 9th, which is Mother's Day. So you're not going to forget the date. And um, the biggest thing about getting in, in, in uh, the beginning, right, is this isn't I'm not, I'm not new to business. I used to own numerous businesses in the past, like a cleaning company, a hair salon, different service businesses. Um, I used to do all kinds of in-person, like art shows, craft shows, things like that. Um, but my membership for you, for creative people, um, is new. Like I said, first time opening, May 9th. Um, so the best thing about that is, and not that, everyone's not going to get my attention because you are, but getting in in the beginning, first of all, your price is going to be low and it's never going to go up. And second of all, you get my attention, most of my attention, and I do what I can every day. Just ask Marcy and ask Dorothy and everybody else. I do what I can to um, really make sure that I pay attention to you and uh, get back to you guys when you when you need me. So it's more of a personal, you know, closeness. We connect, right? Dorothy says, Lisa Marie, are you using uh, paint markers? <laughs> no, these are, um, these are Tombow washable markers. So they're actually brush pens. And you can actually do this with, um, I use Crayola super tip markers, which are super inexpensive, but I'm using these just because I love the colors. And I have, if you look here, I have a ton 
okay? But um, they can be a little pricey. And if you do brush lettering, like I was doing the lettering here with this, oops, um, you know, you don't necessarily want to mess up your brush tips. So I try to limit how much I use the brush tips just so that I don't damage them. Um, <clears throat> but so, so you can use the Crayola Super Tips as well. But basically, I'm just using um, the washable marker. I'm putting a little bit of that pigment on the page, and then I'm taking a brush. And I, I don't have, I wasn't prepared. I, I didn't know Amy was going to have me on. So I am taking oh, my hand. Norm normally, I would take a, a, a paper towel, but I'm taking my hand to drip off some of that water. So you can see, I don't have a very wet brush. And then I'm activating that color. So I was telling Amy earlier, you know, I because I'm doing beginner art, I'm not doing the fancy art Amy's doing. I mean, you can tell just by what I'm doing. It's not, it is not the caliber of what she's doing. But, <clears throat> you know, I really want to help people like um, kids that I have that are, I have kids that are um, two and five and eight. And then even beginner artists who are adults who just want to know that, like, I can draw. Like, this is a really good way to learn how to control watercolor. Watercolor is actually kind of challenging if you don't know how to do it properly. And so it this is. is a really good learning technique. You can control your watercolor technique with this because you can control the color and you can kind of learn how much water you need. Because when you actually use a pan watercolor, you need a whole lot more water than color. Um, and then you sort of gradually add it. So you, it's sort of like you do it in layers. You do a l light color, you kind of let that soak in, and then you add another color. And so it gets a little more complicated. And I just like this because it's really, really simple. So people who are beginning, this is just a technique that I use. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's awesome. Love it. So, and what Amy's saying about her membership, you know, getting in on the early end, like, that that is like the perfect thing if anybody's watching who's considering or you know wanting to get on the wait list do it because now is like the perfect opportunity when you're when she's starting out and getting in on that early side of the membership you're going to get to get so much out of it that people down the road won't necessarily get like marcy and um who else is in there now jen and um i'm trying to remember the names i'm sorry amy but um, okay. yeah, like Marcy, Jen, Dorothy. Okay, I was um, close. Yeah. Marcy, Jen, <laughs> Dorothy, Linda, Melissa, Jess. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, like they're going to get so much out of your membership just because they're getting in on the early end of it. So any of these early people who Kim, are. Kim, Kimberly helping... is the newest one. Yeah. Sorry, I had to give her a shout out. That's okay. That's okay. But I just want to say that because, you know, if you guys are thinking about it and you're not really sure, like, you know, it's never a better time than now to get in on something like this. Um, you know, I say that for her. I say that for me. Like, she's building this. And so, like, this is the best time to get in because you're going to get to see, like, and you're going to get to help bu her build this membership to what you want because she's open, I'm sure, to all of the feedback that you are going to be providing for her so that's all i have to say amy <laughs> yeah. you go girl i was just going to find the um the uh, wait list to pin for them if they want oh yeah for sure. i don't know you guys let me know if you want the wait list you you can find it right here on the page i think it's pinned at the top anyway and it's on my website uh, but if you want well, anybody who's here. watching afterwards probably is going to want to want to get on that wait list, Amy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I, I accidentally shut my computer off when I went to go turn it on to get the get the wait list link. I shut the computer off. Anyway, let me show you. I'm going to varnish these two pieces. I'm just using a um, foam brush and I like the wide ones. If you know, yeah, I've got all different different types, but I keep these in a with a lid on them because I I'm very very picky with my varnishing and I don't want any cat hair or dog hair or a little fuzzy floating around to get inside of here or your own <laughs> hair be careful. So this is my favorite medium, I mean a uh, varnish right here. It's the Liquitex Professional Gloss Medium Varnish the and it has the letter F on it. Um, I get this at Hobby Lobby. You can also get it at Michael's, although 
with the pandemic, I have not been able to get my hands on this stuff. And I don't know if you can tell, I just have a little sliver left. So I have to go to the next step, which is still good, by the way, still same kind of stuff. I'm using the Liquitex Professional Acrylic Mediums Gloss Medium, okay? And I know it's backwards, but um, that's what it is, the Liquitex Gloss Medium. That's what I am using. Um, so Bethany says, I love my, did you already see that, Lisa Marie? She loves her art. Zaya, I can, uh, it's hard to read. Pens, she has pens sort of like yours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever tried this technique? I'd be interested to know. <laughs> Peyton says, interesting stuff. Awesome, Peyton. Dorothy, Dorothy says, have either of you ever used... Uh, Lisa Marie, can you read it? Because I can only read okay, every hold other on, word. Hold on, hold on, let's see. <laughs> because the uh, okay, hold on. I got a link. No, Let's just see. put your Dorothy, hand across the Bethany, bottom. I love my Arteza brush pens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then interesting stuff. Have you ever, either of you ever tried, oh, yeah, the Posca paint pens. Oh, yes. To she incorporate with your acrylic paintings. Yes, I definitely do. The Posca paint pens are awesome. I mean, it's basically acrylic paint in a pen. And oh. they have all different sizes. Like, have you tried them, Amy? No. They've got the but wide tip Dorothy and they've got the really me. fine tip. Dorothy, can you do me a favor? Can you post a picture of those in Creative Warriors for me? And um, just uh, tag me in it or use the hashtag, hey, coach, and post a picture. I would love to see those. Especially if you, you know, created something with them. Post a photo of what you created, too because I'm sure some other um, creative warriors would like to know that. I know I would. That'd be awesome. Good to and know those that you are actually, to move Yes, and they're really good for using for, uh, to use for the lettering, the lettering on your acrylic painting. So, oh. um, you know, I mean, I'm doing this right now. This is really simple. But if I was working on an acrylic painting and wanted to add lettering to it, or if I was doing a porch leaner or a door hanger or something where I wanted to make you know, my own lettering on it. If I wanted to say welcome, it's a really good way if you're using a stencil to make your lines really straight and sharp. It's oh. also a really good way to, um, like if you can freehand your lettering, it's a really good way to do it. Or if you use a tracer, I don't know if any of y'all have ever done that. Um, but if you use a tracer, it's a really good way to go in and add that to an acrylic painting once you've done the painting. So like at Christmas time, I did, um, I'm trying to think. I did several different paintings and I added lettering Please to my hold paintings. Hold up one second. Sorry to interrupt. Sure. I just oh, want to no, tell no. them what I just want to tell them what I'm going to do so that I can start doing that so that you can continue yes. to talk so that they don't they're not confused in case anybody really wants to see the varnish part. So I'm using the Liquitex acrylic mediums gloss medium for my varnish. I'm going to take my varnish. I'm going to do this quickly as Lisa Marie talks. So I just want to tell you what I'm doing first. So you can see it happening. So I have my paintings just laid out on the table here, my foam brush, and I'm gonna take this bottle and I'm gonna I'm gonna start from the middle and do like a swirl all the way out, and then quickly in the a back and forth motion because most most of my strokes are horizontal. That's how I'm gonna wipe on the varnish, and I'm also going to wipe the varnish right across all the sides. So then you can see how they look, well, varnished in a moment. <laughs> okay, Lisa Marie, take it away. I would love for you to keep keep going. That's while okay, I lost my train of thought. But Amy, do you do more, You're so you're saying you do more than one stroke with your varnish? Oh yeah, I go back and forth. You'll see me. Okay, that's interesting. I've seen, I've seen different techniques, so that's really good. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's all I was saying was the Posca pens are really fun for, um, you know, adding, like, if you guys are doing these amazing paintings, if you ever wanted to do something, you know, and add lettering to it, it's a really good technique for that. Or if you wanted to do something in really small detail and maybe you didn't feel confident enough, um, you could, you know, bring that Posca pen in for that, too. Because it's basically acrylic paint in a pen. So, yeah, they're really yeah. fun. Yeah, Dorothy, I hope that you post a photo for me, honey. I would love to see what they look like. 
and um yeah and i would love to see what you've done dorothy with see them. dorothy said i'm about to order them from amazon i haven't used them yet oh if you're gonna oh. buy if you're gonna buy paint pens those are the best ones to buy for sure um and there's also a trick to opening them opening them dorothy so when you open them um, you want to, I, I know this sounds so weird, but you want to take, like, open up the tip and take the, the end of the brush and, and push it with your thumb until, and hold it up to your ear until you hear a puff of air and then use them. Um, if you don't do that, I don't know why, but they bleed everywhere that, everywhere. But if you do that, wow, you'll be able to use them know. and they will work. Yeah. So, uh, that was something like a learning curve I had with them when I was first starting out, but, um, so, so try that, Dorothy, but I think you're going to love it when you get it, when you try it out. So, and if nothing else, they're really good to sign your paintings with if you don't do anything else with them, you know? Oh my gosh, that is a great idea. Yeah. Dorothy, what are you going to do with them? What are you getting them for? Are you going to like letter on something or get them to sign your name like she was saying, or maybe for like fine detail or something? I'm just curious. Oops, here I am throwing my brush around. I'm just, as you guys see me bending down, I'm just spot varnishing a couple of um, places. So I'm, I'm leaning down to see how the light hits it. During the day, it's actually easier to varnish because I can hold it up to the window and see where the varnish is and where it's not if I miss a piece. Because I'm picky. I want to make sure when my collectors get this, that every piece is varnished. And so it's going to come out, um, you know, it's going to look a little more wet at first, but then this is not a matte though, it is a gloss. So it is still going to, to dry. When it's dried, it's still going to have a beautiful sheen to it. And I just love after it's varnished, it really brings the colors out even more and uh, just you know protects it and it's absolutely gorgeous and uh, there was one little spot one little spot there the corners i will warn you if you're using 16 by 20s probably any size canvas but i mostly paint on a 16 by 20. the edges of all these the corners are the ones that seem to uh, miss the varnish the most in, in the most uh, places, I guess you could say. Dorothy, for me, uh, I think she said detail work. Yeah, she said um, detail work, yeah, which is really good. And then as you follow, you know, along with Amy and get more confident, you'll be able to do it without them, but it's a really good place when you're starting out. So that's super. Well, Dorothy blows me away. So she's, you she? see her floral paintings are gorgeous. Yeah, really. Oh, uh, Dorothy, I want to see them now. <laughs> yeah, they're really, really good. She's, she's a great artist. This is kind of like, Amy, I'm thinking when you print a photograph for matte versus glossy, or, you know, like when you get your pictures printed a certain way, how pretty they look. That's what I imagine your your result is going to be with this varnish on your paint. Oh yeah, yeah, it gives it a gorgeous look. It just it makes it more look more like um, oil paintings. You know, it really. Just oh like yes. It makes it look like oil painting, even though it's not. And and you know, I I personally think oil paintings are creme de la creme. You know, they are the thing, but. It's not my thing. Could I learn it? Yeah, I could. And I've done some oil paintings before, but it's not my favorite medium because I'm just a fast painter. Um, you know, I can spend a few days or a couple of weeks on a piece if I want to, but the collector base that I have, I'm doing, I'm doing quick, fast, beautiful, though, uh, paintings. And uh, that's the type that I do. And um, that's how I've gained my collector base with that type of, of painting. This stuff that I'm, that I'm uh, varnishing right now. So, well, Amy, I, you I, don't I, worry I, about your um, acrylic paint starting to run when you do those strokes with your varnish? 
No, um, if I don't varnish the same day, I let it dry. Even though acrylic paint dries oh. up, I let it dry for a day or two, and then so, so it's really, you know, it's really mm -hmm. cooked in there, basically. And then I will varnish after. And then here's a little trick: if you hold it like up to a light source and just kind of go back and forth with it, you can see if you missed any spots on your varnish and i'm just being quiet because i'm really looking good and i see usually it's the corners like i said but this one just had a little tiny bit down the side now i will warn you this liquitex varnish is expensive but to me it is so worth it because is it going to make a painting that took me an hour or two is it going to make it look absolutely gorgeous and stand right out yeah that makes it worth it for me to purchase the um the uh liquitex varnish so that's what that's I awesome i have got to go wash my hands and i i i, I don't know how but i touched my face and i got varnish <laughs> on my face so i'll be right back on this will never come off so lisa marie you guys you're talk good, to lisa marie good. for a moment uh, Dorothy, I saw you said it must be so fun teaching art to kids. You know, I used to, I, I think I said, uh, here, I'm going to just turn myself around so you can see me. Let's see. Hopefully I'm not uh, turning us off. Um, I used to work in the expressive uh, therapy center at a children's hospital. And so I used to do art groups for kids and adults and caregivers there. And it is, it is really fun just to like give kids, a, like I said, a quick win, like, to show them what they're capable of and what's possible is pretty awesome. And so it is, it's really fun. Um, and that's why I keep it really simple. Um, but like I said, like, I don't even necessarily say it's just for kids because there's a lot of adults, like there's adults that won't pick up a paintbrush because I mean, you probably heard me say like, they just think they can't do it and really they just need to, you know, try. And so I really just try to, capture those people and try to help them see like what's possible and then you know amy can take them to the next level so um you know we're kind of a good complement to each other and that's probably why we get along so well <laughs> but yeah it is it's really fun and um so yeah i've got some fun projects i've got going on here and um i'm using all kinds of mediums like amy said so you know um pastels and acrylics i do do acrylics just like amy but mine's way simpler. Um, and uh, then the watercolor techniques, I do regular watercolor and then I'm doing the um, washable markers, which are really fun and a really good way like for kids, my kids um, even, you know, they, um, they try these techniques and just seeing like how confident they get in it. My, my five-year-old, she, um, she just, just in the last like two weeks got into art like all of a sudden and um just to see her big wins in that is super fun so anyways amy i was just sharing about um teaching kids and what that's been like for me and what my experience has been working in the children's hospital so nice <laughs> that's about it awesome oh mom's on here hi mom everybody say hi to Korean. that's my mom hi mom um, <laughs> Mom, this is my friend Lisa Marie. She is amazing. And um, hi, Marcy. Sorry, I'm pausing because I don't know how a cat hair got on there. All right, I pulled it out. Kirby, man, he's like always jumping up on my art table. I was like, Tim, don't let him in the studio, please. Ah, oh, so Marcy says, I have to go, ladies. I do too, Marcy. So good timing. Um, great night. Thanks for sharing. You are welcome, Marcy. Thanks for being here, honey. Have a wonderful night. Um, Mom, you're popping on kind of late. You're going to have to go back and watch the replay. I'll leave it on here forever and ever, I promise. So I do miss you, Mom. And um, everybody else on here, thank you for hanging out, hanging out with me and Lisa Marie. Watching Thanks for having to, me, Amy. Yeah, you're welcome. Watching how to wire back and varnish paintings checking out some designs. Lisa Marie showed you how to do some lettering, some, some colican stuff, like I uh, showed you some butterflies and boots and, and ducks and flowers and <laughs> just talked about different mediums and things like that. So um, 
Yep, I will catch you guys all again soon. Um, just a reminder, Creative Warriors is going to be open to the public for the first time, May 9th, Mother's Day. Mark your calendars. Mwah. Peace out, guys. Get on the wait list. All right, bye, Amy. <laughs> bye, honey.